Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastery MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you some new in MuseScore 4.5 uh, controls over the layout of your score, specifically over which measures are on which system. This is something that a lot of people have been really uh, eagerly looking forward to for a long time, especially people coming from Finale, because that's kind of where this feature is borrowed from. But anyhow, it's going to be really useful for a lot of people, so let's take a look. I've got a piece of piano music here. And I, uh, by default, MuseScore has put a certain number of measures on that first system. And then the second system kind of ends with this fermata. Well, let's decide what we want to do. What if we decide, you know, uh, I want the system to end here. I want this measure here, the second to last measure, to be the last measure of the score. The old way you would do that is select that measure and hit Enter to add a system break. And that still works. Uh, if I hit enter again, it removes the break. But let me show you the new method. You won't be impressed yet, but hold on. Um, if I select the measure that I want to move down, I select that measure and press Alt Down. And that pushes the measure down to the next system. It also, notice instead of that uh, system break icon, we have a lock icon. This means that it is now locked so that even if I edit the contents of this system, add more notes, add more measures, it will stay locked to end here. That is new. Um, what's really, though, interesting about this is, what if I decide, let me undo that, what if I decide, you know, I really want to get all the way up to the Fermata onto that first system. I want to take this system and move it up. This is now as easy as selecting the measure and pressing Alt Up. Boom, there it goes. Now, it's no guarantee it's gonna look good. It's gonna be pretty crowded, but it did fit. You could take this to an extreme. What if I say, hey, let's get two more measures in there. I'll select this measure over here and press Alt Up. It will gladly do it. It's gonna do it even though it's ridiculous and, and is making notes overlap like crazy. And uh, it, it's kind of still readable though, right? Uh, you can go even crazier still. Let's get a couple more measures up there. Let's select this guy here and Alt Up. And now it's getting uglier and uglier. But the point is, it's really easy now to just select a measure, press Alt Up or Alt Down to move it to the previous system or the next system, and then lock that layout in place so that even as you edit, it won't keep changing on you. So it's a feature, again, borrowed from Finale, been really eagerly anticipated by a lot of people for a long time with MuseScore Studio 4.5. Here it is.